Stuart, yes. you have been out and about, haven't you? Oh, Paris, for been a start. to Paris a couple of times in the last year. <gasps> what have you bought in Paris? And where exactly in Paris have you been shopping? Well, I can't say exactly because it's all over the city. Yes. Uh, lots of shops that are uh, commercial operations uh, under the name Gerasol. Gerasol? They have a dozen or so shops in the city that I'm aware of. Right. And lots of other places, kilo shops, where you buy by weight. Are all of those things from kilo sales then? Okay. This shirt. Ooh, look this at that. This shirt I found at the kilo sale in Ipswich yeah. for six pounds. In mm. Paris there are the Emmaus charity shop chains as there are in this country. Okay. It is a French charity and uh, my very, very best garment that I've ever bought on the uh, pre-love scene was from the May shop in Paris, which we'll see mm. soon. Okay. okay, then, so what did you buy then in Paris? So, this is one of my Paris shirts, uh, a Zara shirt. Okay. As people who may have seen me on your show before uh, yes. know I like my braces. Yes. And I've got lots of stripy braces, so I thought a few plain shirts would be better yes. rather than stripy shirts and stripy braces. So this is with the uh, Zara Man label on it. Yes. It's one of my uh, re regular featured shirts. Mm. Mm. So you wear that a lot. You've worn that a lot. Since yes, you do. Yeah. it. Great. This one. More was, stripes. This this is um, from one of the Emmaus shops in Paris. This is another one of my Paul Smith shirts. How much would a Paul Smith uh, shirt cost? What new? Brand new. I, I, I don't know the price that, that yeah. they are brand new, but they're beyond my budget. Probably talking about fifty pounds. I think they're rather more than that. Really? Yeah. This one didn't come oh. from Paris. Have I seen that one before? Or have you got one similar to that? This is a Paul Smith shirt again. <laughs> it's the same design, but with a different colourway yes. of of shirt that uh, that you've you've seen and your viewers have seen before. Mm. This one I bought in uh, Palmer's Green in London. This yes. is the shirt that I got from Hats Vintage in Cardiff very recently. Oh, isn't that it sort of Versace, is, is it? Uh, Van Heusen. Oh. It's a fantastic garment. This is it, the, the cloth is so soft. Oh, shit. But no, I think this is just a trem tremendous shirt. Quite my favourite shirt at the moment. Really? Let's give a big shout out to Two Hats Emporium yep. in Cardiff Market. We love those guys. Levi and, and his father, Stuart. <laughs> named after you. And Sooty and Sweet. And Sweet. Oh, vintage. <laughs> <laughs> braces this is a thing that i bought many of in paris so a plain blue mm. 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 red with spots how many pairs of braces you've got oh a couple of dozen this is a hat i picked up in paris ah oh. let's have a little look at that that is it, super cool. It needs a, bit, needs a bit of work to get it into shape, and I haven't done that yet. It's a bit bit dented. How are you going to do that, then? Uh, steam, I expect. Ah. Oh, That's what my friend Nick recommends. Steamer? Have you got a steamer for your clothes? Uh, it's a kettle. Oh. There you go, listeners, viewers. He uses the kettle to steam his clothes. I don't, but <laughs> I've been told that's what I've got to do. <laughs> well, having just moved into this house, I'm... Yes. Very fortunate to have moved into a house with a very, very big wardrobe. Oh. The Loden coat, an Austrian Loden. style, which I now have two of these garments. Right. This was bought from a shop called BIS Solidaire, which is yes. a charity in Paris. Mm. Wow. All wool, and from a top Austrian name, Schneiders. Right. The sleeves. I'm, just, I'm noticing the detail of the sleeves you, underneath. You notice the the the, the, yes. the way the sleeve is here. Yes. Vented That's here. That's what I noticed. And also access to your trouser pockets in the side there. Right. So there's the blue one. Gosh. Like, That's like a camel coat. Now, what this, describe them the again? What you Loden. Loden. Yes. This, this one hmm. is uh, alpaca and, and sheep's wool. That actually suits your colouring, that does. It does today with the rest of yes. the garments I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah. So have you taken them out? I know it's only just starting to get cold here. Have you worn them I've yet? worn both of these this, this autumn. Have you? Yeah. Mm. Wow. 
And how much did you pay for those? Um, this one was in the very first shop that I visited on the first evening on my first visit to Paris mm. um, and it was 10 euros and I know this other one was 23 euros because I've still got the label in one of the pockets the blue one <laughs> this is called a Vetterfleck mm. it's more a cloak than a that's coat that's like a Sherlock Holmes thing isn't it? this is a great thing for festivals Oh, I gosh. always wear these do Since you? I've owned it, uh, I bought this one in May and it went to four festivals this summer. Really? Yeah. Is that wool as well? Yep. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, no, it, it does. Uh, it's, it's a very... most unusual garment and it it's is... not for everybody, but no. I saw the potential for this. For right. Keeping... And has it kept you and, warm? And also, it means I don't have to carry a pillow with me because I just roll this up. Yes. Oh. I'm going to go back to the trousers at oh, yes, moment okay, because then. I, I, I forgot to um, speak of trousers. Oh, gosh. Can you just move that chair out of the way so we can't see your trousers there? Oh, I put it to shame. Your stuff is so organised. Look at that. This is one of the trousers for braces I bought in yeah. quite my favourite Paris shop called Antiroule. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's on the mm -hmm. Rue de Paradis. Yes. And when I went in there the first time, uh, I bought two pairs of trousers. Mm. These and a black pair that we shall get to in a moment. Mm -hmm. And the proprietor thinks that these are from the 1940s, right. and the other pair she thinks are probably a hundred years old. Whoa, this that's... pair I found on that trip to Palmer's Green mm. again. Mm. 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 These got the Nicole Farai label on them. Because mm. mm. the thing is, you're tall. Do you ever have problems getting? Lots. Yeah. Lots of problems. The right we'll go size. back to these trousers. Yeah. Yes. You'll notice. Oh, you've had to. Take they had them. turn ups. You've had to take them down. Did you press them? And um, all the work, all the work I have done yes. at Star Alterations on Norwich Road. A big plug for Star Alterations. Lovely fellow. Norwich Road. He, I've been he's there before he's now. most enthusiastic yeah. about, uh, about my trousers I've brought back from Paris, so much so he asked me to bring him back a pair so he could take them apart and make some. So, are we wrapped up now then, Stuart? No, we're not. We haven't had the star piece yet. Oh, the star piece. Oh, oh gosh, that's like suit material. Wow. You are so flamboyant. I was in the Emmaus shop with my friend Nick mm. in Paris. He yes. brought this to me with yes. a, on the hanger and through gritted teeth, he said, I think this is your size, Stuart. <laughs> It fits like a glove. Does it? It's just... Wow. Have you worn that yet? This, this is by far the best garment I own. Mm. This is by the Lanvin House, yes. which I wasn't aware of, but he's certainly appraised me of this since then. Yes. I paid 160 euros for this. Right. They retail about 2,000. <gasps> And where would you wear that, though? I wore that for the first time to mm. a gig at St Peter's Church two weeks ago. Did you? Yeah. One, one evening. This one this one will be more difficult to wear, yes. and I appreciate that. Yes. I won't take that off the hanger. No, just show it to us. Oh, it's like a trench coat. Like it a, is. Like a rain also, coat. Also lava. Lava. You see the so, label? Yes. This is lava. silk. I bought Smith. this and this on the same day, the last day of my, my second trip to Paris. Wow, and such immaculate condition. These are the other pair of trousers I bought in Paris in Antirou, mm -hmm. the second time I, the first time I visited. Mm -hmm. These are carrying buttons that say mm -hmm. Gallery Lafayette, which is still the premier department store in Paris, and the person in the shop believes yes. these to be a hundred or so years old with you know, fish tail specifically for buttons yes for button on braces which I like this wasn't from Paris this was from strangers strangeness and charm in Stroud Gloucestershire oh. sadly no longer open right but, uh, right oh. a nice warm tweed coat yes yes very nice well I think I don't think you should buy any more coats uh, I, I have I have a lot of coats <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh. well, when temptation is put before me, yes. who knows what I might buy. Stuart, thank you so much for sharing your wardrobe with us today. 
your clothes, your collection of clothes is fantastic. So Thank keep on much. buying these wonderful things and sharing them with us. Thank you. Free Love Chica, passion for fashion. Mm -hmm.